Hi, welcome back to economics and uh, we will be talking about uh, market structures. So uh, in the previous chapters, we have discussed what a market is. So a market is uh, a place where um, the buyers and the sellers meet to uh, exchange goods and services. Okay, so market structures are composed of different firms that sell similar products of varying qualities. So identifying which existing market structure a business belongs is um, essential or very important in understanding how the market system works. So in this chapter, we will examine why economists look at the degree of competition in the market and uh, we will discuss how competition influences market behavior and affects the way the market functions in the long run. So um, in, the, uh, in the market, there, there, are, there is uh, what we call perfect uh, competition and also an imperfect competition. So for competition, we already know that uh, consumers uh, they prefer spending less while consuming more. So, mas gusto nila daghan silag napalit, but um, ah, nakakonsume silag daghan, pero mas, sa mas barato. So, the participation of more sellers in the market uh, gives consumers a wider selection of alternatives where they can spend more efficiently. So, mas daghan ang kapilian, mas paborable sa consumer. Because of this arrangement, um, producers tend to lower their prices to attract more buyers and increase their total revenue and profit. So because of this behavior sa mga consumers that they wanted to, to consume more for less money, then the, the sellers, the producers, tend to produce products at a lower price sell products at a lower price para mas daghan ang mapalit and mas dako ang ilang profit. So, ang presence sa competition is, uh, therefore, it changes the prices of goods and services as well as the quantities produced or sold. Because the higher the price is in our, our law of demand, uh, when the price goes up, the quantity demanded uh, will go down. So, of course, as, as a seller, what you would like to do is for the consumers to buy more of your products. So, kung daghan ang, ang sellers, daghan ang producer na ang same product, magkaroon sila competition. And that competition is to make the product um, better and at a lower price. Okay, so, mas maayo ang daghang competition kumpara sa walay competition. Pero at the at both ends, Ani, um, both ends of the competition, there exist perfect and imperfect competition. So, na ay perfect and na imperfect competition. In a perfect competition, there is no participant in the market that can influence prices. So, walay maka sa itawag na influence, like maka control, maka dictate sa presyo. In a uh, imperfect competition, firms have some influence over market prices, although they are varying. No? So, pag perfect competition, walay, naka, walay makadikta sa presyo. But in an, in an imperfect competition, na ubang company na kaya nilang i-dictate ang presyo. Okay? So, um, let's go to the pure, the, the perfect competition. Um, in a perfect competition, there is no there is no participant in the market that can influence the prices. Pag bingin tag influence or makadictate, meaning um, na dili siya pwedeng siya magbuot. Kintahay, uh, you have a na maligya ka og okra, then uh, ang imong okra ibaligya ni mo sa mahal nga presyo. Dili pwedeng ana because you have to sabay, you have to you have to go with the existing price. Diba? So, for example, ang katapad ni mo na maligya pog okra, yeah, you sell your okra at 50 pesos per bundle, pero ang imong katabi is uh, 
10 pesos kinta hai, 5 pesos per bundle. So, asa man ang consumer mo palit. So, therefore, dito siya sa 5 pesos. So, dili ka makadictate sa imong price. You have to go along with what is the existing price in the market. Mo nagitawag nga perfect competition. Ang imperfect, katungin na to, na, na ay mga uh, uban. Especially ang mga products nga wala kay kapilian. Kanabi ito marag wala ilain na or duhara sila, tulura sila, so wala kay, wala kay choice, kundi musunod sa presyo. Sila ang mag-dictate sa presyo. Okay. So, there is also what we call pure competition. Uh, pure competition, uh, it's a, a market structure where there are many buyers and sellers. So, uh, this is one of the market structure na, because there are actually um, three or four market, three market structures that we are going to discuss. So, pure competition, market structure, this is a market structure where there are many buyers and sellers. Meaning, uh, sa isa ka product, daghay buyers, daghay sellers. Uh, Pinaka-example, Anna, is fruits, vegetables, isda, karne, di ba? So, daghay, daghay producers, Anna, daghan po ang buyer. Um, since there are numerous participants in the market, meaning participants, buyers, and sellers, none of them can cause changes in prices and quantities of goods and services. So, wala sa ila ang pwedeng magbuot lang. They have to uh, stick with what is the existing price ana niya sa merkado. So, for this reason, sellers in markets with pure competition are also called price takers. When we say price takers, uh, we just follow, stick to what is already existing. So, uh, for example, uh, bangos. So, uh, bango, ang, ang buyer sa bangos sa uh, isa ka market no, will no longer buy bangos and uh, uh, if if the price is going to be increased. Diba? But, pag mo decrease ang price sa bangos, then mo daghan po ang mapalit sa bangos. So, this is due to the fact that a single buyer is insignificant in this kind of structure and can be easily replaced by new buyers. Sellers also experience the same scenario. Right? So, kung mutaas kag presyo, then mawala ka. Mawala ka sa competition. Goods and services in a purely competitive setup are homogeneous uh, or exactly the same. So, example are the, say for example, uh, Japanese corns, um, sabon, shampoo. So, you have noticed that the, let's say for example, corn or mais, ang uh, gibaligya sa isa ka seller, is the same corn sold by another seller. So, there's no single seller can claim that his or her Japanese corn is different from the others. Kay pareho raman din sila. It is also probable that they came from one source. So, possibly pong gikan sila sa isa ka source. Um, in the same way, talong or eggplants uh, sold at a nearby market have almost the same price. So, although some dealers might give discounts or some freebies, the selling price is still nearly the same. Okay? So, nara na maka, makahangyo ka, may discount, ana, but they still follow the market price. So, that is what we call pure competition as a market structure. Another uh, competition or uh, another market structure is what we call monopoly. Okay, so monopoly is a market structure where there is only one seller that represents the whole industry. No, so isara ang seller nga nag represents the whole industry. Um, in a monopoly, there is only one good or service with no close substitute. So, the consumers have no choice but to patronize that product or service. Okay? So, example ani is uh, Meralco. Right? Meralco, Aneco, um, in Metro Manila, the Manila, Manila Water. Okay? So, wala may lain nag-produce, Ana. Alam nga, mag-asa ka mo palit o kuryente. Di ba? Wala may lain su supplier sa kuryente. So, you have no choice. Munang, uh, if you can see here, 
A monopolist is a price maker and profit maximizer since he or she has the power over market prices. So, kaya niyang i-dictate. Price maker siya, dili siya taker. Price maker siya because kaya niyang i-dictate since walay lain nga nag-produce. Right? Ang tao to, Meralco, sa ato other sa local is a Nico. Okay? So, there are cases in a monopoly where the same good or service is offered to different customers at different selling price. Ang sa'yo pasabot, Ani? Um, like sa Meralco, lahi-lahi ilang rate. So, if you are an industrial company uh, that subscribe to Meralco, lahi ang imong rate no, sa per kilowatt hour. Pag residential, lahi po ang rate. So, money gitawag nga uh, the same product but the same price is offered to different koan, different uh, classifications sa customer. Okay, yan na po ang Maynilad. Na ay commercial account, na ay residential account. So, muna siya. That's uh, monopoly. Now, let's go to oligopoly. So, oligopoly means that there is more than one seller but remain to be few so that a considerable degree of market power is exercised. So, unlike sa, kung sa monopoly, siya lang yun, in oligopoly, there are just a few, few supplier or sellers. So, if you can see in the picture, we have Coca-Cola. Usually, ang mga oligopoly are, uh, kung ano sila, kanang um, car, kining uh, Coca-Cola, Netflix, Okay, kung sa movie entertainment na sa TV, we only have Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. Mo na yung pinaka nag-compete. No? Um, kung sa cars po, like GM, Toyota, Chrysler, Ford, siya Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi. So, sila ra ang, ang supplier. So, therefore, they have a degree of control over the price. Dili pareha sa pure competition nga the guy's choices. So, Kung magbaligi akag mahal, bahala ka, biyaan ka sa customer. But in the monopoly, in the monopoly, there are only uh, one supplier. So, therefore, wala kay choice kundi the waton ang presyo ng ilang gidictate. In the oligopoly, you are, there are, there are a few, no? There are a few. Uh, so, therefore, there is still a degree of control over the prices. Okay, and then we have the monopolistic competition. So, um, we have discussed earlier the pure competition. Um, we have, we also have the monopolistic competition. This refers to uh, many firms selling differentiated products, which means that products of the same industry seem to be different, but are actually no, they're not different. So, uh, if, you, uh, if, you can, if you can see at the picture, you'll see there the nice soap, nice hand soap, nice shampoo. Uh, although they are all the same shampoo, pero dagan ka ayo, like sun silk, um, what else? Palm olive, head and shoulders, uh, sa pa mga shampoo karon, pantin, di ba? So, there are a lot of shampoo. There are also a lot of bath soaps like um, Safeguard, Palmolive, Tender Care, and so on. Ang ubang mga sabon diha. So that is what we call monopolistic competition. They are the same, but they are differentiated. What do you mean by differentiated? Meaning, ang isa ka product na isa ka distinct nga mura ba kanang pagmuingon taog anti dandruff. Kibalo na rin tagon sa anti dandruff, di ba? Ang sama ng anti-dandruff, that's head and shoulders. Okay? So, uh, naasya'y murag ka ng, although pareho sila, pero naasya'y brand nga gidala. Lain-lain siya o brand. So, pag may tag long hair, uh, palm olive. Diba? Kana sa commercial nga makita na to. So, that is what we call differentiated. They're the same product, but are made different. Or they are sold differently. Okay, they are labeled differently. Okay, so those are, in summary, we have to look at this, um, the type of the market, 
the sellers, the product, the entry of new firms, and the example. So let's go to pure competition. Uh -huh. How many sellers? Many. Uh, how many buyers? Many. Pod. Product homogeneous, meaning they are the same. Entry of new firms, it's free. So, the, the litra mo enter sa market. Like, kung gusto ni mo mamaligya po kagtalong, pwede ra kaayo. Bisagdag ka nagtalong, pwede ra gihapon because there are many buyers. That's an essential product. Example, sugar. No? Sugar, talong, um, okra, etc. Then, uh, the next type is monopoly. Monopoly is, um, you only have one seller. The product is only one. Entry of new product, no. Meaning, you cannot enter nga diha-diha. Or I mean, dili sa yun. Say, for example, mo enter ka, mamaligya po ka kuryente, no. Um, actually, Miralco is um, commissioned by the government to sell electricity. The reason for that, murag ang gobyerno is nag-promote for monopoly when it comes to electricity. The reason for that, it's because it's it it entails uh, safety and security of of the people. Dili nila pwede na basta-basta na lang ihatag sa uban nga. O sige, mamaligya mo kuryente, etc. Because that entails safety. Uh, dili, dili mo mag-guarantee nga ang newcomer uh, will be able to provide same security and safety towards the population. And then, uh, example nga is Meralco, and then sa ato as Aneco. Aneco is actually getting from, getting electricity from uh, NGCP, right? So, uh, next is oligopoly. The sellers, there are only a few of them. And then their product is differentiated, meaning similar sila pero na twist lang gamay para mahimus lang different. Entry of new firms restricted. So, there's a restriction dili po tanan makasulod like for example sa Netflix lisod na kaibang gaon ba Netflix Hulu Amazon uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi so lisod na siya bang gaon um example niya oil and fuel right so oil yeah um like uh fuel kay mga gasolina di ba then monopolistic competition uh sellers there are many uh, product differentiated pod and then entry is free no uh, you can enter you can compete anytime and then pinaka example shampoo bath soap hand soap okay so this is the summary so i hope you have learned from this if you have any questions you know where to post your questions